Hi, how's everybody doing? Uh, okay, <laughs> this, this is another haul because, oh, why not? <laughs> it was advised to me that I need to make just, just like a handful of more approachable videos, you know, ones that aren't just an hour of me talking with really extraneous jump cuts. So, <laughs> I figured that anytime I get books, I'll just do a haul. I'm really going to milk that while I can. It's not gonna last very long because there's only a finite amount of books I read as a young person. And there's something that's like book adjacent, but not specifically about books, but just something I thought was funny. So I thought I would include it to add more time. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, uh, the first one I'll talk about is already unboxed because I have no self-control and this one came like two days ago. It's Here by Ella James. It, it has very similar vibes to my fun Wattpad book that I still get notifications for every day and I just, it's, the pain never ends, but it's fine. It's fine. I like it. It's fine. I don't know what that was. <laughs> oh, slice right through the book. Right through the book. This is An Abundance of Catherines by John Green. I'm planning on doing a John Green thing. I'm just gonna compile all the ones that I did read. I'm not doing one for each of them because they're essentially the same book. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. This is an, an old library book because some of the ones that come from fish books are old library books. It's apparently from Papa, Illinois. I didn't know where that place existed, but it has a fun name, so that's a good time. Oh, fuck. There's like receipts in it. I don't know why. This one's gonna be really funny. The Gifting by K.E. Ganshirt. And if you've read this book, you know why it's funny <laughs> and what I'm gonna say. Oh, it's from the Indianapolis Public Library? <laughs> so I'm from Indiana. I just thought it was funny. Mm -hmm. I keep cutting the books. Aha! So dance in purgatory. Wow, this is printed really weird. Yeah, this might be self-published. God, I still sip for this book so bad. <laughs> Some Quiet Place by Kelsey Sutton. Finding it, a physical copy, is kind of a pain, but this is an old library book as well. Is that all of them? Yeah, okay. So, I didn't really get that much in this specific thing. I kind of thought there were gonna be others, and I just realized, I was like, wait, no, I only, I only got like five. I just have no self-control. So getting distracted. Love that for me. There is one last thing that it's not a book, but it is, like I said, kind of generally book adjacent. And I thought it was funny. All right, I have to like reach down. Oh God. Here's the thing. <laughs> I really, really enjoy when books have really strong, like, self-published energy about them <laughs> if that makes any sense like if if i can read like a real book that has these really weird specific explanations or descriptions of things what they're describing is something that has definitely real and has definitely happened or they definitely own the traditional publishing process kind of scrubs stuff like that clean really weird hyper specific details don't like they just make a book slightly more niche which makes it slightly harder to sell so here's the thing in in marked and we all know 
that I had a lot of complaints about this book and I also commented on so much of like exactly how much of it just needed to be red penned. Oh god, how do I want to say this? It has a lot of the author's really personal thoughts and feelings and biases in it but also it really mentions a lot of their like like literally what they probably saw and owned and had in really gross extraneous detail and in that way i didn't really bring it up in the hour and a half long video i did about this book <laughs> one of the natures of that i do kind of enjoy that as like a general thing like i think in this book it, it was a bit much, not gonna lie. It's like the weirdest line, not the weirdest line in the book, obviously, because this book has a lot going on. It was almost six o'clock and the sun was finally starting to set, but my eyes still stung. Actually, even the fading sunlight made my skin feel tingly and weird. It made me glad that it was the end of October and I had finally turned cool. It had finally turned cool enough for me to wear my Borg Invasion 4D hoodie. Sure, it is a Star Trek The Next Generation ride in Vegas, and sadly, I am on occasion a total Star Trek nerd. God, that's just so specific. <laughs> is that real? Like, it has to be. Like, I don't know why someone would just make up that detail. And again, usually, that's, that's one of those things that, like, it's usually in a lot of self-published stuff, but it's not really in a lot of traditionally published stuff because most editors will just kind of be like, you know, oh, just say it's like a black hoodie. We don't need two lines of explanation for this really hyper-specific article of clothing that's so weird and unnecessary. But we all know that whoever the hell edited this book was just like, I don't know, snorting lines of ketamine off of their desk and taking a nap and then got woken up really startled when they had to submit it and was just like yeah it's done i don't know it's roughly 300 pages long it's probably fine just send it out send it out the teenagers will love it like so there i was you know laying in bed reading this book and thinking i wonder if that's a real sweater like it has to be right and so I googled it <laughs> and it is and I found one on my size so I bought it because I guess I don't value money or something so I needed to do it for the jokes you know because I was like god this must have been such a special sweater if it, <laughs> if it made the cut for this you know, highly praised, beautiful work of fiction. <laughs> That's what this is. <laughs> and I just thought it'd be a good time. So that's what we're gonna do. Where did I put my scissors? Oh, here they are. I always smell clothes when I get them from like online thrifters because I always really think it's really fascinating when clothes like smell like other people's houses. Here she be. God, that's, that's not, I can't see it at all. It's real. <laughs> it's, it's here in the flesh with us. And it is, it is a ride. It's the uh, Star Trek, the experience at the Las Vegas Hilton. How do you feel having a cameo in the first installment of the masterpiece that is the marked books? <laughs> I hate it. I'm not gonna do the voice for a turn. I'm just not gonna do it. It's really, really ridiculous sounding, and I'm just not gonna do it. Ow! What was that? So there you have it. That's my general book slash book adjacent haul. <laughs> Exciting stuff, really. And me, oh, my hair is gonna get all over the microphone. You're not gonna be able to hear anything. So I have to keep my hair back in all of these. That's annoying. I'm gonna shut up now. And I'm gonna go. That's gonna be into that. But, uh,